Hello everyone, this is Rishna Sharma and you are watching Food Tech Geeks where you find videos, lectures, tutorials, career guidance videos, exam related videos on food science and technology. In this video, we will discuss some of the important MCQs with proper explanation for FSSI exam and we will cover more such important questions in the coming consecutive videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also subscribe to our telegram page so that you do not miss any important update. So let's start with today's series of questions. Question number one is total number of food allergens as declared by FDA are 5, 8, 7, 6. So FDA has declared total number of 8 food allergens which are milk, egg, fish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, shellfish and soya beans. So FDA has enforced FALCPA which stands for Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act of 2004 and this FALCPA has identified these 8 common allergenic foods and this act states that the food labels should clearly indicate the food source name of the ingredients that are among the 8 allergens. So it is important for the food manufacturer to indicate the presence of these ingredients on the label if any of these ingredients are present in the food. Next question, Eggmark was implemented in the year. So Eggmark is a certification mark for agricultural produce and it was implemented in year 1937. So option B is the correct answer and the full form of Eggmark is Agricultural Produce Grading Marketing Act and it is a product quality certification for over more than 222 agricultural commodities. So this is the Eggmark certification. Next question, value that defines the difference between acceptable and unacceptable is defined as critical limit, critical control point, HACCP, hazard. So the answer here is option A that is critical limit. So critical limit is a maximum or minimum value to which a parameter must be controlled. And if the parameters are above or below that particular critical limit, the product will be unacceptable like for example here I have cited an example uh, like there is a hazard of uh, any pathogen in any food substance and the CCP like the critical control point is the drying temperature like if we have to uh, give a particular temperature to the product to destroy that particular microorganism and suppose the temperature is 200 degree Fahrenheit so it means if the temperature is below 200 degree Fahrenheit the product will be unacceptable it means the pathogen has not been destroyed properly so this is the critical limit which uh, determines whether the product will be acceptable or unacceptable next question iso standard is mandatory non-mandatory obligatory compulsory so iso is an independent non-governmental international organization and it has a membership of nearly 167 national standard bodies. So the standards of ISO are not mandatory. They are voluntary. And the head office of ISO is in Geneva, Switzerland. Next question. pH of normal fresh milk is 6.6, 6.8, 7.0 and 7.2. So the natural fresh milk is not neutral and neither it is alkaline but it is slightly acidic. So the pH of fresh milk is 6.8 and the, this particular acidity of fresh milk is due to its normal constituents, its natural occurring constituents which are casein, acid phosphates, uh, citrates, albumins, globulins, carbon dioxide. So all these natural constituents contribute to the natural acidity of fresh milk. Next question. India has lifted ban from import of milk products from China on and the options are given. So the ban on imports of milk products from China was first imposed in September 2008 and from then it has never been lifted. So the answer is option D. There is still ban on the import of milk products from China. So the ban was imposed on the grounds of presence of melamine in some of the milk consignments from China. So due to the presence of these melamine, the import 
was banned from China and melamine is a toxic chemical which is used for making plastics and fertilizers. Though India is a largest producer and consumer of milk, so we never import milk and its product from China. So this uh, ban was just imposed as a preventive action. So though we do not um, have any import from China of milk products. Next question, the Eggmark head office is located at, so just now we have uh, uh, discussed something about Eggmark, the full form of Eggmark and when it was implemented and for what products the Eggmark certification is important. So the head office of Eggmark is in Faridabad, Haryana. Next question, how many acts are repealed by FSS Act 2006? So just two days before I have uploaded a video on evolution of FSS Act and FSSCI. So there I have discussed that uh, when FSSCI was not in the existence, we were having different uh, food laws and regulatory bodies. So when FSS Act came into existence, it repealed all those existing uh, acts and they all came under one umbrella that is FSS Act 2006. So there were total of seven acts which were repealed by FSS Act 2006 and here you can see these are the seven acts uh, which are PFA Act, Fruit Products Order, Meat Food Products Order, Vegetable Oil Products Order, Edible Oil Packaging Order, Solvent Extracted Oil, de oil Meat Order and Milk and Milk Products Order. So all these come under one umbrella that is FSS Act 2006. Next question. Which railway station received 5 star Eat Right Station certification for year 2021? So this certification that is Eat Right Station certification is granted by FSSAI to railway stations which adhere and follow standard food storage and hygienic practices. So this certification is awarded to railway stations that set benchmark in providing safe and wholesome food to passengers. So for this uh, year 2021, the certification was being received by Chandigarh Railway Station and this certification is a part of Eat Right India movement. Here you can see this is the certificate which was being awarded to Chandigarh Railway Station. Next question and the last question of today's video, which agencies regulate food business in India? So the options are FSSAI, state food authorities, both A and B and none. So for the enforcement of food safety across the country, both FSSAI and state food authorities jointly share the responsibility. So the answer is option C, both FSSAI and state food authorities. So here you can see this is the food authority that is the FSSAI which has a chairperson and 22 members. It is the governing structure of FSSAI. Here you can see the food standards are being made by the different committees and the scientific panels and then there are the various compliance and inspection committees. So this is the organizational structure of FSSCI and we have our food safety authorities at every state and union territory level. So they both together have the responsibility to ensure the food safety across the country. So the answer was FSSCI and state food authorities. So that was it for today's video. I hope you must have liked the questions and I'll be coming with more such important questions for the FSSCI related exams. So please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Till then stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.